The Pliny Project at Rice, spelt P-L-I-N-Y, is about taking all the available code in the world and putting it in a database. Imagine that the stack of papers represents all the code that we've been able to amass. And it's not just a matter of putting the text of the code in the database. We want to extract interesting features like functions, variables, dependencies, and put them all in the database. Now that we have this, terabytes of data, our big core database, the question is, how can we use it to help programmers to write new code or to fix old code? So here, I'm representing this visually as a piece of paper, a piece of code with a hole in it. Now what Pliny is gonna do is that it's gonna take this incomplete piece of code and generate a query to the Pliny database. Now the Pliny database is now going to take this query and search this large corpus of pre-existing code snippets. And not all of them are going to be good fits for the program that the programmer wrote. Eventually, Pliny will come back with something that's the best fit. We see that the best fit is pretty good, but it doesn't fit exactly. Now, what Pliny is gonna do is just trim this piece of code, this snippet retrieved from the database around the edges using sophisticated analysis techniques, give it back to the programmer, and here we see we have a result that fits what the programmer already wrote. We have an exciting road ahead of us as we try to convert this Pliny vision into reality. RICE has been historically strong in programming languages, and we now have a growing strength in big data. And the exciting part about this project is that the two are really going to come together. We have partners from UT Austin, from University of Wisconsin-Madison, and the Grammar Tech Company. And I see this as a dream team that is going to crack a really important problem for the future of computer software.